Okay, so feel the feelings. Um, so, um, sorry. So feel the feelings. So that's just a term, but all it is is just allowing experience to be. That's another way of describing it. Just allowing experience to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, so recognize that the nature of the ego is to resist. The nature of the ego is to resist just allowing everything to be as it is without escaping. So one of the ways, now there's a few subtle ways in which the ego escapes the now, just allowing everything to be as it is here in the now. One is to think. By thinking you're resisting the now. So when you identify with passing thoughts then you're escaping from allowing whatever energies or feelings that are there are here from being experienced 100%. So the faster you think, the more you're repressing, the more you're trying not to experience whatever energy is maybe in the body or whatever feelings or sensations or vibrations can be felt. So you're numbing out just by thinking. So one of the things with feeling the feelings is just allow the energies of feelings or whatever feelings there are in the body to be fully experienced, fully embrace them and detach. As soon as you go into a thought, disidentify from that thought and just be with the feelings or the energies. Now in the beginning you'll find that you may be just trying to be with the energies. Let's say there is a sensation in the stomach, so you're just going to be present with the, that feeling and welcome that energy in the stomach, for example, it could be something else in the shoulder or whatever it is. Then there'll be a habitual tendency to go off into thought like I need to do my shopping. But as soon as that happens, detach from that thought and be back with the energy and the feelings. And then the next time the mind goes off and tries to make you escape from being with the energies, like, uh, you know, I have to, uh, you know, I need to uh, go home for EastEnders or whatever it is, detach from that. And you'll get better and better at detaching more quickly from a thought originating. So in the beginning it's like, oh, I need to do shopping, but after a few practices, I need, and you can detach. And then after a few more practices, I, and then you release the thought, and then you're just with the energies. Mm -hmm. Another tendency is that there is a tendency for the, um, for the consciousness to repress feelings as a psychic phenomenon. Just something is energetically trying to push the feelings down and not feel them. So let that go and just invite all the energies to be released. So if there's, you know, just relax, let everything come up. If anything becomes very excruciating or painful, welcome it. You know, don't try and think or push it back down with your head or mentalize or escape with your thoughts. Uh, just allow everything to be, uh, to arise. Also, there can be subtle things, like when you're doing feel the feelings, there can be something in the background trying to orchestrate and do it perfectly. It's like some aspect of the mind is still there trying to monitor the whole process to make sure you do it correctly. Switch that off. No thinking or thinker is required. So you just totally switch off the head and just allow the energies to be experienced. So, so is it a you that experiences the feelings? No, because if you switch off the thinking and all aspects of the thinking or monitoring, it's just allowing energies to arise in consciousness without anybody orchestrating or trying to be in charge or controlling the process. So it's just allowing everything to be released um, uh, and, and felt out. And there's, as these repressed energies are released, uh, you, you start to get relief until there's... Ideally, if you've got enough time, just let them be released until there's nothing left. Usually what you'll find is, as an energy releases, you may become aware of a more subtle energy, and then a more subtle energy, but just release the layers so what we're going to do now is do five minutes and then we'll see how, how we get on with that.